a mother that medically has to have that done. You don't have to murder a baby, ma'am. Okay. You don't have to do this to a Dear baby. American church, doesn't your Bible tell you not to judge other people, or am I confused? Judge with righteous judgment. Judge with righteous judgment. You are not a righteous man, my friend. You are not a righteous man, literally. You don't, I hope that you bake out here, because that's what it's going to feel like in hell for you. It's going to feel just as hot when you burn in hell. I'm not going to hell, ma'am. So you're on your way to hell, man? If he is up there, I'd rather live in hell anyways, baby. And It'll be much hotter than here, ma'am. I don't want you to die and go to hell, ma'am. I give us... It's about a... It's about abolishing this. You know, the, you know there are baby murder mills in this city. They need Christians to go out there. Hardly any go out there. Can I give us, this talks about how to end this. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm an abolitionist. I'm not a pro-lifer. I'm seeking to abolish the murder of children. Check that out. The Check out Abortion is Murder Kansas on, on the internet. trade you. God bless you and what you're doing. Talks about abolishing abortion. Yes. Yes. And this is for Kansas specifically, including Kansas. Because uh -huh. most uh, most people, whether they're Christian or not, are living at peace with this happening to babies in the yeah. city. And you know, I know. I, I there, there's not. an organization on there on the back of that to oh, check out. It? Yeah, to yeah. Aim, aim Kansas. There's, there's a because I'm not a pro-lifer, I'm an abolitionist. You're what? I'm, uh, I'm an abolitionist. Okay, I'm not sure what that. Oh, that, that's why I'm giving this to you, so that um, the, basically it's, uh -huh. there's a network of Christians here in Bleeding Kansas and throughout America that that are seeking and demanding the abolition of baby murder. Not the regulation, because for 50 years the pro-life movement has only regulated murder. Yes. And there have been some efforts to abolish it, but like the personhood amendment, but but we're demand we're we're not asking for breadcrumbs from the Supreme Court's table, <laughs> as as the pro-life movement did for 50 years. Uh -huh. You know, working in the confines of Roe v. Wade, um, which wasn't law anyway. But we're we're demanding the abolition of it, and it's like we will not accept anything less. Yeah. And so that's why I say I'm an abolitionist, not a pro-lifer, because I actually used to be in the pro-life movement. Right, but then it just you've seen how things were. Yeah, yes ma'am, I, I saw I saw that, well, they're regulating mass murder. They were, in fact, uh, I've seen in many, I've seen in states like Texas and Oklahoma, because I'm a traveling street preacher, that, that when you put in a bill that would abolish this, uh -huh. treat it like murder, when you put it before Republicans, what do they do? Kill yeah. it every single time. Why? Well, they think that every mom who, murder, who murders her baby is a victim. Uh -huh. And I actually had a mom, um, uh, pass uh, by here uh, not long ago, maybe I don't know, not even an hour ago. That she said she murdered her baby. She yeah. said I had an abortion, but she murdered her baby. I think in two, she said 2002, and she said that uh, what, what did she say? She said that um, she was, you know, pumping her her fist in the air. She was pumped about it, the fact that she murdered her baby. <sighs> and the pro-life yeah. woman says that's a victim. It's like no, yeah. that's a cold-blooded murderer yeah. who. Um, but I, I say that because that just happened today, or, um, just not long ago, and I meet moms like that and women like that mm -hmm. a lot. Like, they're boasting about the murders they committed. Oh, they're yeah, pumped yeah. about it. I know, I know where you're coming from because I know a lady that used to work at Wesley Hospital. Yeah. She was a nurse. She had to quit her job because it was when a lady came in, had an abortion, had a mink coat on, with a champagne bottle to celebrate the death of this baby that she was going to have aborted. And I go, you mean at Wesley Hospital? See, I mean, I was, it just blew my mind. She had a champagne bottle under her coat? She had a champagne bottle with her, with her. you know, to celebrate. That she murdered a baby. That she was going to murder her baby. 
When, when was that? Oh, this was this was years ago. But I, I it shocked me. This is Wesley Hospital that saves lives. It's also taken lives. Oh yeah, I knew that. Uh, as know, far as I know, they it, stopped. It totally but, floored me because I had, you know, that I was very naive. Didn't um, I? well, I can. I mean, you don't have to feel bad about feeling like because. I mean, the pro-life movement, they, I mean, I think I used to believe that too, that because uh -huh. the pro-life movement, when I came into it in 2008, I, I just believed what they were telling me because, you know, they want to end, they want to end this Holocaust. Little did I know. <laughs> yeah, right. That's, now there are some in the pro-life movement that want to end it. Yes. Yeah. I was one of them. And those who are finding out about the, about what the movement's doing, they're coming out of it. They're doing a, a pro-life exit, becoming abolitionists. Yeah. And, um, and realizing that the leadership and the groups and the politicians, they don't want to end this. Yeah. They, in fact, they've had, they've had opportunities to end it, and they say, no, we, we don't want to punish moms, we'd rather babies die. Uh -huh. And but yeah. what, tell me about, about that mom who was going to sh celebrate with, sham with a champagne bottle. Yeah. That doesn't shock me at all because recently um, there, uh, I, I saw a, um, a picture of a, of a mom who, I think it was her friend that made a cake for her, Celebrating the fact that she murdered a baby. Baby. Um, celebrating it, like throwing a baby through a uh -huh. basketball hoop. Uh huh. That's kind of what it, what it was. I mean, celebrating the mur her murder with a with a cake. Cake instead of a celebration that you're having a baby. Yeah, you're celebrating that you murdered your baby. That you and uh -huh. and I, I see there's there's a website to check out called notavictim.org. Uh huh. To, yeah, just not a not a victim org, and you'll see pictures, videos. A lot of the videos that I've got yeah. uh, out here on the streets are, are on there. You'll see real quick that these, they, they know what they're doing. They, oh, yeah. I hear on a regular basis, kill them kids, F them kids, F them babies, kill them all. Uh, I, I hear uh, that a lot. Well, you know who is ruling our world right now. Well, the Bible says that, that the devil was a murderer from the beginning. Yes. And uh, yeah. so that, I, I'm, I'm explaining that to you because yeah. that is the reason that the pro-life movement is keeping baby murder legal under color of law because they refuse to punish moms for murdering their babies because they think they're all victims. Uh -huh. But when you see what comes out of their own mouths, yeah. and even the example you gave me there, oh yes. I mean, that's not a victim. She knows yeah. what she's doing. Yeah. She's celebrating murder. Oh yeah. And that, like what you're telling me there, when, when I was just telling you about the, the, the mom who was celebrating with a cake, yeah. there are stories like that all over the internet. But yeah, and it's sad. It's extremely, it's I mean, I, I've, and sad. well, it shows that the heart is deceitful and desperately oh, sick. Yes. And I, I have friends that have told me, um, that they yeah. see things like that at least once a week on the internet uh, of, of moms I, I boasting. Don't get, I don't get on it. I don't get on Facebook. I don't, you know, just, you know, just because of stuff like that. Oh, know? it's, it's horrific. I mean, it's, that, but that's, but that, just, just realize, um, what, what's your name? Teresa, I'm Nicholas. You're Nicholas? Yes, ma'am. Just realize that that is why this is continuing because even states that have shut down the surgical murder mills, uh -huh. like Texas and Oklahoma, moms can murder their babies with immunity through the pill. Oh, yeah. Yep. And be, yep. why? Because of pro life, the pro life movement. Oh, yeah. Pro life leaders and groups that put laws forth yep. that say, yeah, it's a, the, the unborn, the pre born child's a human being from the moment of fertilization. Uh -huh. And it's it's murder if you murder if you take the life of that child unless yeah. you're the mom. Yeah. If you're the mom, then immunity. Why? <laughs> like, why? Like, why not? But if you notice, just like on the news the other day, you know, where the, they try to claim, oh, you know, uh, life does not um, exist until after the baby's born. That, Who, who's uh, saying that? Well, you know, that's just that's just the world. You know. Actually, you know, but, one one thing that um, one thing um, pe people don't realize is our own law in the state of Kansas yeah. says that human life begins at fertilization. If you if you look yeah. it up, 65, 67, 32 uh -huh. the statute. If you look that up, um, I memorized it because I, I hear this a lot, and I'm like, yes. Kansas law is 65, 67, 32 Kansas statute says that human beings begin their life at fertilization. Yeah. It's Kansas law. Yeah. at the moment of fertilization and the Department of Health um, actually affirms that too. Two. Sa says the, because um, the murder mills, Planned Parenthood and um, area here in yeah. Wichita, 
they have a link to the Department of Health on their website that affirmed that too. So I bring that up to people too. So we all know it, but we, we just suppress the truth. Yes. And Miss uh, Teresa, I, I do want to exhort you as well to, don't know what your schedule is, but people have different schedules, but if you're able to, um, there are three murder mills in the city. Uh -huh. um, you may already know, but I don't, um, not everyone knows. There's the old Tiller death camp, George Tiller. Yeah. Um, the one is still there, same place, mm -hmm. just off Kellogg and Oliver. Yeah. Planned Parenthood. I, I know. I was there one time with my daughter to pray against people coming in. It's still open today. This is years, years ago, but yeah, and then when Tiller, you know, when he met his maker. Yeah, when he when when he was in operation. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it's it, it's a it reopened in 2013. It's been open ever since, and. There's a Planned Parenthood of near Central and Grove, uh -huh. where they murder babies on site there. Yeah. And so I want—I just want to exhort you to consider coming out there, because hardly yeah. hardly anyone goes out there. That's one reason why I do this, like at intersections, is to reach people. Like, because when I go there, sometimes I stand by myself. Yeah. Usually, it's mostly Catholics that come out there, hardly any Christians. Uh -huh. And so I exhort people like to come out there, and so the sidewalk yeah. is not so empty. And yeah. Because it's a horrible testimony to the world. Oh yeah. The world sees those empty sidewalks and says abortion is a murder. I don't. Why is my friend who's a Christian telling me abortion is murder? Look at that empty sidewalk. If you believe this was murder, you'd be out here, you know. Uh -huh. And um, and people don't come out. And yeah. not even Saturday morning. Uh huh. When people aren't working or in school. But it's okay. Just consider that. Um, well, thank sure. you. Don't know what your schedule is, but. Uh, yeah. Well. I but know. Please, please, please read that because yeah, it's I will. I that. Will. And, um, uh, yeah, that's pretty gruesome. But, but that is, oh, it is, yes, ma'am. Yes, and, it is. It's pretty gruesome, but yeah. And sometimes, you know, when when women can go and see a video of what they're going to do yeah. to their babies, you know. Well, I, I've I've babies, heard testimonies. They have no idea until after it's all done. You know, some. You know, they, they live in, you know, depression today because yeah. of what they did, you know, because it, it you know, works on them, you know. I've and heard testimonies of moms who looked at the ultrasound of their baby and they still murdered their baby. No, I, so and, I, you know, I got a, I got a, um, you know, a, she's like a daughter to me, but her and her husband, they just adopted a baby. Praise God. That, you know, the mom, you know, she, instead of having it, she was a young mother, instead of having it aborted, she decided to, and so this child is being raised in a Christian home, and that, that blesses your heart. Yes, ma'am. Really blesses. And then, you know, they, they did get turned away from another one that they were going to adopt first, but the mom decided she was going to have, have this baby aborted. But the dad changed his mind because he's, wow, it's going to cost me this amount of money to have this baby aborted. You're going to have this baby. What a horrible aborted. reason, but and, God. And then afterward, she decided, she decided to keep the baby. And that was, you know, those are blessings. Those are blessings. Well, like Nicholas, thank you. God bless thank you. you. Thank you for the water, you. Teresa. And uh, don't get too hot. Oh, I've been out here for a while. I've, I've, got, I've gotten used to it. I've been out here pretty much every day. Well, God bless. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the information. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the water.